<laughs> man, people are so petty sometimes. I, when I first saw this tweet come across my screen, I went to the replies immediately. And the first reply I saw, well, this ain't Chandler Jones. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, the Ravens, you know they always busy. You know they always busy. They are bringing in three different pass rushers. But no, none of their names are Justin Houston. None of their names are Chandler Jones. None of their names are any of the names that you would have thought uh, would be at the top of the Ravens list. But this is what we have continued to say time and time again. We don't expect the Ravens to go for the sexy name right now at the pass rush position. While Chandler Jones would be cool, it would be great, I do not think it's likely at all. Uh, but anyway... The three names that the Ravens brought in for a workout are Deion Jordan. Now, with Deion Jordan, he has um, he's had quite an interesting career because I believe it started uh, down here in Miami with the Dolphins. Um, and then he there was some, some off-field stuff going on, and Dolphins end up cutting him. I forgot what the situation was. But anyway, that's that's the past. He went to the, the, the Seahawks. He went to, oh, he went to the Raiders too? Okay, and then last year, he spent last year uh, with the 49ers. Um, he has a total of 13 and a half sacks in his career. His career started in 2013. So he played in 2013, 2014, took a couple years off. Came back in 2017, has been playing ever since, but... Has a total of 13 and a half sacks. So that's with Deion Jordan. Um, and so he's a free agent. And the Ravens just, they're trying to get something sorted out at the, uh, the pass rushing position. Now, another name that they, uh, they brought in uh, was Chris Smith. Now, Chris Smith is, a, again, another under-the-radar guy, um, but somebody who's been around for a little minute. So he's obviously doing something right. If he's been in the league for this long, since 2014, started off his career first three years with the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, and then he moved on to, oh, the Bengals. Okay, so he's familiar with the AFC North, and then he played two, two years with the Browns, um, and then he also played last year with the Raiders. Okay, so he is definitely an AFC type of guy. Uh, he has a total of nine and a half sacks throughout his career. Um, and then the last, this is one that I hadn't heard of uh, Shalit Calhoun before. Um, so this is, he's new to me. Um, but he's been around since 2016. Spent the majority of his career uh, with the Raiders uh, from 2016 to 2018. Then 2019 and 20, uh, he spent it with the New England Patriots. Uh, he has a total of two and a half career sacks. And again, sacks are not the end all be all and something to keep in mind because i know it's going to be a lot of people in the comment section who's that who's that why are the ravens bringing that guy why are they bringing that guy it's not like they're bringing in these guys to be their day one starters no they're not they're bringing guys in for depth they're bringing guys in for training camp depth because i know a lot of people tend to get hung up on if Ravens bring in somebody and it's not the person you wanted, it's, it's not the, the, the biggest star name that there is out there on the market. And a lot of people start going crazy over that. Uh, and, hey, it ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody can be a fan of how they choose to be. But if, if, if they were to just only, only have their starters on the roster, it wouldn't be much of a roster at all. It would, of course, have some significant guys on there, but you need backups you need backups, backups, and especially for training camp. Unfortunately, hopefully it doesn't happen this year, but unfortunately, injuries happen. Guys get banged up. Guys get tired. It happens. People miss a, like a couple days in training camp from time to time or whatnot. It happens every year. So, so you're not in a jam. So you're not in a pickle. You, you just you, you can't just have your starters out there. You got to have depth and quality depth at that. And now with these three guys, it's experience depth. Guys that have been in the league. Guys that have played in this league on multiple teams. So they've been in different environments. And they've all, even though to all together... It hasn't been so many times where they got to the quarterback, but they know what it's like to sack the quarterback in the NFL. 
But worst case scenario for each of these guys. Worst case scenario for Dion Jordan, for Chris, and, and for Shalik. I feel like I said his name the complete wrong way. Oh yeah, Shalik. Um, but worst case scenario for those guys, they come through for training camp, and they're just there for training camp. That that is the absolute worst case scenario. Best case scenario, one of these or whoever whoever gets signed because this is just a workout. This is a workout, but whoever gets signed, best case scenario, they make it to the 53-man roster. Because that's obviously the ultimate goal, make it to the 53-man roster and, and be a contributor on that too. So shout out to these fellas for getting an opportunity uh, with the Ravens because Ravens clearly uh, feel that they need more depth. I know that um, as far as our pass rush, it's more of a question mark than it actually being bad, in my opinion. It's more of a question mark right now because you just have a lot of unknown there at the, at the present. Or in the present. You have a lot of unknown there. You don't know how Adafi Away is going to be in the pros. You don't know how Dalen Hayes is going to be in the pros. Pernell McPhee, he, we got him. Jalen Ferguson, we got to hope that he takes that next step where he turns that corner this NFL season. Tyus Bowser, how is he going to be as a full-time starter, as a full-time pass rusher, full-time outside linebacker? It's a lot of stuff that we just haven't seen yet. So we're like, oh, okay, <laughs> Let, let's see how this thing goes. So that's where the Ravens are at uh, right now. So these mo again, depth moves. It's not like, oh, yeah, these guys are going to be our day one starters. No. So for the people that are tripping out, <laughs> when, when Chandler Jones does get traded somewhere other than the Ravens, oof, <laughs> you're probably going to be pretty upset because I, I just don't envision a scenario with him in purple and black, man. I, I just, I, I, I really don't, man. Uh, but you, you never know what could happen, but mm, yeah, I just, I don't think it's going to happen. I just, I just don't see it. But anyway, we'll see what happens with these guys. Oh, and one last thing too. These guys' price tags. They're, I know there's been a lot of rumors about Justin Houston. Oh, he wants too much money. He wants this. He wants that. We don't know what he wants. We don't know what his, his salary, his price tag is. But regardless of what it is, these guys... If whoever Ravens decide to choose amongst these guys, their price tag will be extremely cheap, especially when you compare it to a Justin Houston. They will be bargain guys. Ravens can get them for a deal. So that will be something else that will factor into this whole equation. So may the best man or men win the job and be able to get on a team and get ready for training camp tomorrow. Because tomorrow they full go, baby. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. We are out.